<laughs> Hi, I'm Gary Busey, and I'm fishing for answers for the Hollywood Reporter. Out of your many on-screen roles throughout your career, which one has meant the most to you and why? Wow, that's easy. It's a story about Charles Harden Holly, who went by the stage name of Buddy Holly, where I sang the songs, played the guitar, had the best director, Steve Rash, best supporting cast, Don Stroud and Charlie Martin Smith. It was a lovely experience, and that's the one that the top rung on my ladder of my career. Good answer, huh? It's because it's honest. What do you think Mr. Joshua's best quote in Lethal Weapon was? I promise I'll kill you quick. What do you think? The standout memory I have from working with Keanu Reeves on Point Break is, 21 years old, rode a cheap motorcycle to work every day, and he was there to learn and grab. He was like a sponge, taking information in from all the other players, the director, the crew, everyone. Very active, very conscious, and very vulnerable. He was like my little brother, and I had my invisible arm around him whenever he needed me. And that's pretty much constantly. No, I'm kidding. Alrighty. Give your best impression of Donald Trump when he was your boss on The Celebrity Apprentice. I've got to tell you, Gary Busey is brilliant. He's a genius. He thinks of things we can't even think about. He's going to go a long way. Gary, good luck. Donald J. Trump signing off. That's it. Perfect. Okay. This is fun. Good. I have to admit, this is a ball of fun. What does a day in the life of Gary Busey look like? Well, the first question I have for you is how much time do you have? It looks like what it is. It looks like what's going on. It looks like what's happening. Just like a day in the life of all of you. Okay. Get ready. Three words I would use to describe myself are Gotta have more than three words. Faithful, spiritual, and loving. FSL. What do you enjoy more, playing a good guy or a bad guy? When I played Mr. Joshua in Lethal Weapon, everybody was saying, now you're a villain. Now you're an antagonist. How do you like that? What are you, what, are you gonna be a villain antagonist? Have you been a villain antagonist in your life earlier? When you were young growing up? Were you juvenile delinquent? What? And I said, no, I don't play villains. I play people who are misunderstood by the public. <laughs> Take that and understand it. <laughs>